Hey guys, Sandy here, and today I am scrapbooking a selfie, and the reason for that is because I am participating in the Mercy Tiara 27 Day Challenge Inspiration YouTube Hop. So right now everybody has a whole bunch of challenges to pick from, and I chose the My Story Challenge. So this is to create a page about anything that has to do with yourself. It can be your favorite food, your favorite job, your job that you have now, your favorite book, your favorite person, or even just a story about you. So that is what I'm going to do. I've pulled out one sheet of black cardstock and the fashion, Fashionista uh, collection from Echo Park. So let's see what I can do. First thing I do is grab this sheet of pattern paper and it has cut apart uh, borders on one side and a green repeating pattern on the other. And I chose this pattern paper for two reasons. One, it's my favorite color. So I figured if it's gonna be a layout about me, I should probably have my favorite color somewhere on this layout. And green is my favorite color. Side note, it's also my favorite ice cream. Now I want it to be able to use the back side of this paper where the borders were. So I made sure that I cut that section off that I wanted to use first. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to just use the floral part or if I was gonna add in that stripey bit. Um, I do decide to add in the stripey bit, but there it is. I'm trimming this down a little bit with my new trimmer, and I do have to say there is a learning curve with it. Um, it is a guillotine trimmer. I am used to the Fiskars sliding trimmer, so I'm just trying to uh, get my bearings with it. It cuts so smoothly. The lines are straight. Um, it's just a clean, crisp cut, so I just need to keep working with it and get over that learning curve in a hurry. Now this is one of my go-to designs where I take a uh, larger sheet of a background paper and slap it down and then have a ledge that the paper sits on. And in this case I decided to keep the stripey bit because I liked it. Now I was struggling with that trimmer so I decided to go with the old standby and I decided to do this because I just put a new blade in it so I knew it would be able to cut those very uh, thin lines here. I just needed it to be straight. I wasn't entirely uh, lined up with the other trimmer. I didn't want this border to go all the way across the page. I wanted to make sure I had some of that black background underneath of it. And the only thing I'm gonna do is tuck this strip up there underneath of the green paper and I've got my color scheme started and ready to go. So we're doing black, white, mint, green, and of course we're gonna add in the pink because there is pink all over uh, this collection. I wanted to use this cut apart that says, in a world full of trend, always remain classic. And I wanted to do that because the title is going to be, I do what I want. And I actually, made sure that I had the letters in this font, um, particularly this font, because I thought it was kind of a sassy font for this layout. Now I know that I want to have a good amount of layers uh, behind this photo. So the photo is not a standard four by six photo. I did cut some of it off because I knew I wanted to put in a lot of layers on this page. I just really like the colors and the paper in this collection and I think that they layer together beautifully. So I wanted to have that dark layer around the photo first. I felt like it needed that little bit of grounding before I started putting in all these layers. Now there are a lot of busy layers that are going to go under this photo and they work because they're all the same colors. So if I would have had a whole bunch of different colors, different shades, different tones, it might look a little bit like a hot mess instead of a cohesive uh, large photo mat. Now I decided to layer the photo over top of that ledge uh, for my green paper. I just like the way it looks. I like the contrast uh, between the green and the black. Now, this small floral pattern is a great pattern to have as a uh, layer as well as a photo mat because it repeats a lot and you will be able to tell, oh, those are flowers. Even if you couldn't look at that immediately and say, oh, those are flowers, you would be able to see that it is all the same colors. 
Now the fun thing is that the other side of this paper is this gorgeous plaid and I love, love me a good plaid and this is a good plaid. So I'm doing some offset layers now and usually I do offset layers when I am using a 4x6 photo and I'm using a 6x6 paper pad to create the layers because since the photo and the paper are the same size you really can't get that mat to go all the way around the photo. So you mat it on three sides and then do the same thing on the other opposite three sides with the uh, with another sheet of paper. So there it is, you can kind of see the offset layers where the plaid is at the top but not at the very bottom and then the floral is at the bottom but not at the very top. So there we go. And I'm really liking this. I'm thinking that this area is where my title's gonna go. I know that I gotta get some journaling in here. Now I could totally just make this, you know, about me page just with my photo and this quote, because that kind of sums it up. Um, but I don't wanna do that. I definitely wanna add some journaling. I don't scrapbook uh, like emotionally type things about me very often. So I wanted to make sure that I got the words down. And I just love this font. And I am running out of it now after I put this larger title on. So it's kind of bumming me out. I might have to uh, find a new favorite one. Now this is cloud uh, vellum where it's the sky. And I only chose the cloud vellum because I am out of regular vellum. And this is what I had. Now I only add it the adhesive behind my photo mat because I don't want you to be able to see the adhesive through the vellum onto the background paper. Now at first I thought I was gonna use this mini doily up at the top, but I felt like it was a little too top heavy and I needed to bring it down to the bottom. And so much happier with that choice, layering my quote on top of it. And I'm just looking at this, trying to figure out what I want to add now, where I want to go with it. I know I want to bring in some florals. I'm trying to decide if I just want to use some stickers or if I'm going to take the time to fussy cut the florals out of the patterned paper. And I decided to go with this um, label down here that says spoil yourself. And I'm using some unfun foam to pop that up there. And I just felt like I had so many layers going on that that sticker would have been, you would have been able to see the layers underneath the sticker. It would have been kind of like bumpy and lumpy and I didn't want that. And the unfun foam solved that problem completely. Now in that one floral pattern paper, there is a little bit of this mustardy golden color. And I figured that adding that tab in with that mustardy golden uh, color with the words kind of made it make more sense instead of just having these little splotches of yellow in my photo mat where it's the only color that doesn't repeat somewhere else. So now it repeats someplace else. And I take this little banner that says it's a girl thing and I'm actually gonna change that to say something else. But right now I'm seeing if I can make the sticker florals work instead of fussy cutting. Now don't get me wrong, I love a good fussy cutting session, but I just really wasn't in the mood to do that because I just fussy cut at roses uh, yesterday. So I really wasn't looking forward to fussy cutting roses two days in a row. Good thing I had enough of the florals on my sticker sheet and I created this cluster up here. Now I went to my stash and I found this mint green label and I'm not exactly sure where it came from um, because I just have the orange and the green here and there's no manufacturer on it. And I just went ahead and instead of cutting those little kind of divots out like it has in the label down below, I just cut it straight across and made it less of a inverted label. So here I am again, because I layer from the top down. I have to pick up those stickers and those paper layers and then reposition them once I got that label there. And I know that this little thing that says it's a girl thing is gonna go right here. 
because I like having three places of words around the photo. It's kind of um, the whole visual triangle thing, but it's not the, the whole visual triangle thing. I know that there are some times where you think, okay, I need to create a visual triangle and I need it here, here, and here. But there are some times where it just naturally happens and it's just because it looks good to your eye, so it naturally happens. Now, it took me a little while to find the word me on my little word stickers here, but I did find it in my chit chat uh, stickers um, from Tim Holtz. So I just trimmed, well, I didn't really actually trim. I just sliced in half that banner, layered it upon itself, and then put me on top of girl. So there we go. And I'm okay that it's not the same font, it's not the same color, it highlights that this is a page about me. If you couldn't already get that by the title and the photo on it. So it's just reinforcing it. So here I am, I'm going to uh, write my title and it is a longer title with all of these letter stickers. Usually I would divide it up and have a couple of different fonts for it. But I, like I said, I really like this sassy title, so I wanted to make sure that it got on there. And it sticks pretty, it sticks uh, pretty good to the vellum, so that made me happy as well. Um, it's not an American Crafts product, so that might be part of the reason why the letter stickers are sticking. So definitely American Crafts can take a lesson from Pink Fresh Studio because their adhesive on the back of these stickers is working. So there we go. I'm getting it down. I do what I want. I am going to actually trim those A's. Um, the one I just, I've completely covered up by the N and the one is connected to the T, but I don't like the look of it. I don't want it to be connected. Now I'm just taking a few more of these floral stickers and sprinkling them about the title and also just adding a little bit more to that cluster because, you know, more flowers is good. Now I am trying to figure out exactly where things should go because the originally the original place I had them, I'm not really feeling it. Now I've pulled out my enamel dots. And one thing I really like to do with enamel dots is cover up the center of the flowers. Even though these are roses and they don't have what I traditionally think of as a floral center to cover up like a daisy would have, I still like doing it. And I pick the enamel dot closest to the color of the sticker to do that. There we go, and then I'm going to sprinkle some enamel dots across the page, and I do my journaling um, off camera, so I will say what it says. Really, I do what I want. It's not a flippant stance where I trample over others, but this is a call to action for myself. I'd rather be a little fat and happy than skinny and miserable. I create the way I choose. It doesn't matter if the designers are creating something else. I wear a tiara on my birthday and to Disney. When I say I do what I want, I'm really saying I am just being me and I love it. There we go. Now I'm trimming off those little bits of the A because they just looked weird to me. Maybe if it was a different letter after the A instead of the T and they could have joined together a little bit better, I would have liked it. But there it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hop along to everyone who's participating in the YouTube hop today. Um, there are some fun giveaways, and I will catch you guys next time.